These are my best purchases of 2022 and here's why. They are either the most worn or they go with literally everything or they're so practical that they just made the list. Hey guys, welcome back. Happy New Year. My name is Amy. If you're brand new to my channel, we'll start off with my most obvious handbags and I'll just stick to the top three. <laughs> I have posted my entire handbag collection if you want to have a watch just right here i will link it i think the most obvious choice is definitely my quota bags birkin and kelly 25 i don't think i need to explain why so we'll just move right on to the next one i will definitely do a birkin versus kelly video because i know a lot of you are so curious as to whether I'm more of a Birkin girl or a Kelly girl, like a comparison video, and I will be working on that very soon, so stay tuned. Next up, of course, the Chanel top handle in the caviar. I'm so glad that I was able to buy this off of one of my YouTuber friends here. Hi, babe, if you're watching. I love this bag. This was in my wish list for a while. The mini Chanel flap is just an overall great handbag. They are mini but mighty. They still fit a lot. And I just particularly love this version with the top handle. I love this version so much that I feel like the non-top handle versions are actually taking a bit of a backseat right now in my collection. I just simply love this one. It's just so easy to grab and go. I usually take one of my most robust handbags for travel that still looks cute, that can be practical and also uh, super versatile with all kinds of outfits and this is definitely it. So my next choice which makes the third choice of handbag and I know I'm, gonna ch I'm cheating a little bit but I just want to explain why these two made it. If you've watched my Hawaii vlog, I will link it up here as well, uh, you will know that this bag became so handy. I totally recommend it. If you're looking for the perfect vacation bag, especially the perfect tropical vacation bag, this is definitely it because it fits a ton and it's so super easy. It's lightweight. Um, it just matches with everything. Go with any color, but I would say the black and the white are probably the most versatile ones. Um, and it's so affordable. Just get it. I wanted to mention this one, not in particular this color, but in particular this size. So in the past year, I've bought and gifted many Longchamp bags, uh, mainly to my family, my mom, my mother-in-law. Even though I love luxury bags, I really, really do. Um, they're not always the most practical and they're usually also so expensive you can't get too many and you can't be so carefree with them. So this is when Longchamp, which is I would say still a luxury brand but kind of like contemporary luxury, comes in so handy because I've just used these whenever I just have no idea which bag to use and especially if it's pouring outside in the winter time it pours a lot more and so i don't even have to think twice i bring my umbrella and everything and this is the top handle version in the small size and this is my preferred size i also have the size up from this which is a significant increase in size but i would say of all the different versions that i've bought the size is my favorite because it's just so cute it still fits a lot and it, i mean if i just put the brick in side by side it, they're very similar um they're pretty similar sizing and this is my preferred size in general and i love a good top handle nothing against the shoulder version of course that one is so practical but even though I'm going for a cheaper handbag, I still want it to look cute and cohesive with my outfit. Let's talk fine jewelry. I am uh, continuing my journey in curating more of my fine jewelry. And because fine jewelry are so pricey, it takes a lot more thoughtfulness and consideration when making a purchase. It's not as easy as just like buying all these costume jewelries, which I still love, but I will say my love for them is slightly shifting. Well very much shifting uh, because what I find about fine jewelry is that not only are they practical, you can wash your hands, sanitize all of that, take a shower with them and they are still great. Um, so they're so carefree, so practical, but they look amazing too. And so when I do commit to a certain piece or addition to my collection, I tend to wear them a lot. So they're so worth it. And one of the pieces that I purchased last year that 
I mean, pretty much whatever I'm wearing. Um, they're pretty new, uh, like this whole stack here on my neck. So, okay, let's talk about the Hermes Farandol necklace. I know this is a super popular necklace, but they are not always available. Um, it's a simple necklace that is easily layerable and it's just so uh, price friendly from Hermes. If you're, you know, looking to buy something, you don't know what to buy and you just want to sort of test out their jewelry. This is a great option. Uh, it's a very simple necklace. It's not going to be like so outstanding if you're just going to wear it alone. But that's why I love layering it with my other fine jewelry and the other two I have to mention even though uh, they were gifted to me they are the ideal diamond they are a sustainable lab grown diamond company and they just make the best they just make the best fine jewelry out there I literally wear 24 7 I haven't removed my necklaces since getting this whole stack together um, so it speaks volume anyway if you're interested Everything that I mentioned, I'll try to link it down below. If I have coupons, I'll link it down below too. Uh, and so uh, aside from that, um, the Coco Crush was also a purchase from last year. And if um, you're wondering what I think about the Coco Crush ring, I think 100% go for it. Uh, this is it, this one. This one I did buy in 2021, so I won't count it. But of course, it's also part of my permanent stack and it works really, really well. And so, uh, I mean, the Coco Crush is just such a beautiful ring. It's intricate in details, but it's so comfortable. It makes a great index ring. It makes a great ring in any finger. It doesn't even matter. So um, highly recommend the Coco Crush thin version. This is in the beige gold. If you're into luxury, but you're just tired of bags because I mean, how many bags do you actually use in the end? Uh, but jewelry, you tend to wear them often. Like. My necklaces are worn all the time. My bracelet is worn all the time. Uh, my rings and my earrings I wear only when I go out, but still I get a lot of cost wear, so it's so worth it. I do have my favorites though. This is definitely one of my favorites. The live is also my favorite. Ready to wear, so clothing, right? Um, I do have a few that made this amazing best purchase list. I do also have a few that made in the worst purchases category, which you can look out in the next video. I will be wearing the same thing. I'll just film it after, but it's just that the list is too long. I'm going to separate them into best and then worst videos. So uh, in no particular order, let's just start with um, some Hermes, I guess. So this little top here I bought so recently. I actually bought this one in Hawaii. This is actually part of their spring summer 2023 season and I love it. I find that my style hasn't necessarily changed but that my preference for uh, like how I want to curate my wardrobe has definitely changed because I'm still into dresses, I'm still into um, I'm still, I still love being dressy, right? I still love dressing up, but I definitely feel that perhaps before I still would um, buy more of the trendier pieces and not, not necessarily so trendy that they're so out there. Whereas now my style, while still being feminine and dressy, I prefer pieces that are on the basic side. So they can be very simple which is why I love this top so much. It's such a simple top. You wouldn't be able to tell that it's Hermes unless you were like really zoning into that little, little button here. Um, but what makes this so amazing is that it literally goes with everything. I wear it with any sort of pants, jeans. I can tuck it into the skirt that I'm wearing right here. And it's just so versatile. I find that for me, when I buy Hermes ready to wear, I'm, I just, think that it's more worth it for me to buy their wool items because not only do I get a lot of wear out of them but I, I do like the quality of their wool and so yeah so that's one of them and that's why I went with such a plain design you will find that uh, some of the more sort of like loud designs didn't make it into this list I'm not into that as much anymore even though before I love that um, so same with this one. This is another of Hermes wool t-shirt sweater that I bought last year and it made it into this list. 
it's not because the pattern is like so great or anything but it's so muted and neutral um the shape is great the material is great again it's so versatile it matches with everything i can wear a skirt with this pants with this denim with this it all works another top that made it into this list and those of you who don't watch all my videos will have missed this one because this one i featured it in a styling video and this top is so amazing i don't actually really love wearing turtlenecks even though i own i own them because it's cold here um, but this is sort of like a mock neck so it's it's slightly high on the neck but not not so like suffocating but it's also a very lightweight fabric it's such a sheer cotton it's actually a really sheer lightweight like it just bunches up together and i love the shape i love how it has these um contours it's asymmetrical and it's just so beautiful I, again this top was oh i should say where this is from this one is from j and b y and this top is in a size small i will link it down below because i honestly i honestly think that if you if you have a similar style to me you will love this it's so it's so great like you can layer this underneath a jacket you can wear a skirt over it jeans pants it just is so beautiful and it's also kind of lightweight it won't overheat you so even though it's a mock neck it's just so pretty i i just i just love these lines here uh these lines here it's just so flattering so i have three tops that i bought last year from chanel and they are all great so this is one of the newest ones and this one is a pre-love piece and it's a cruise 2016 piece from the Paris Soul collection. This again can be styled in so many ways. Because it is see-through, however, you do have to wear something underneath. So a little bralette goes a long, long way, which is how I styled it in Hawaii. Uh, wear it underneath the skirt tucked in. And even in the winter, wear a mock neck, just like the one that I showed you earlier, or a turtleneck, and you're good to go. Like Especially that white will go well with this white trim here. So super versatile top, I love it. I have two tops right here, they're separate. You've seen me wear this time and time again. I, I even got a comment about why am I wearing this top all the time? Hey, I pay good money for it, so I, I wanna get my money's worth off of it. But it's also a very super comfortable top, super, super flattering. If I wasn't wearing this scarf today, I would be wearing this just because I wanna get the most wear out of this. And it's just so pretty all the little details so this one has the camellia uh, pearls and petals the fabric is so fantastic it's such a lightweight little um silk material same with this one i mean the material is just fantastic it's a silk cotton blend and the buttons are just out of this world so the last one i have to show you is this awesome jacket this is a wind jacket uh, also pre-loved and it's a really simple jacket it's actually a little hard to style this one because it's so black and so it, you really have to be a bit more thoughtful but what I've been also doing with this jacket is that I just roll it up I just bunch it up and put it in my handbag in the summer especially like when it gets kind of cool uh, this jacket actually does get warm though because it's such a nice has a nice little puff to it the last piece of clothing that i have to give huge shout out for because i just simply cannot i just cannot not shout out to them because they're so great i wear them constantly uh, so the black one i didn't buy last year um it's actually the silver one that i'm wearing currently i love the black one so much i got the silver one this pleated skirt is from lily silk so again it's <laughs> It's featured in a lot of sponsored content, I know, I'm well aware. But it's just one of the best skirts that I ever own. I own a few other skirts before and I consigned all of them because these two, and I want to get the gold one now, just replaced all of them. This is such a comfortable skirt because of the elastic um, and the way I make it look more polish is by belting it either use your chanel belt any belt is fine but i use my kelly pocket belt this is one of my favorites um the chanel belt is fine it just 
it just tucks anything underneath so good it is just the most comfortable skirt that i've owned to date their sizing is not the greatest however i will say because if you're very very tiny like if you're even more tiny than me then you will find the elastic a bit loose which is why belting it is makes such a big difference because i will say unless i've eaten a lot like a big dinner they get a bit loose on me as well so that is the only con from this dress uh skirt but honestly you cannot go wrong buy it before they discontinue it because it's that good the only footwear that made the list are these two the jimmy choo being 65 absolutely the best fancy pretty crystal heels that you'll ever need get the 65 heel version the 65 millimeter because they're very comfortable um for me i i thought that i would have to give up on wearing heels forever but Nope, these, these are totally fine. They are very, very comfortable. They um, are a meal style, so you don't ever have to worry about the heel part hurting you or anything. They don't stay put as much as a regular closed shoe, of course, but when you're wearing such a fancy heel, you're probably at a very fancy event anyway, so you don't need to be running or anything any anyway, right? So I feel like if, if you're just looking for the perfect pair of heels, that you can wear at the nicer events and you're not doing a ton of walking just standing around socializing that type of scenario look no further being 65. the other pair of footwear which is going to be a little harder to buy because although they have made it into a classic and they are the chanel rain boots i got mine uh, a while ago actually these are absolutely absolutely hands down the best footwear boots wise uh, that i've ever bought they are comfortable right off the bat and they're waterproof hey they're so great for vancouver even though they've increased the price twice now it's still so worth it for luxury footwear and they look so good too i tuck my jeans under it uh skinny jeans that is for reference they only come in full size so i am typically a 37 and a half in jimmy choos in any um designer footwear and so I just went with 38 and they work out really well. Okay, let's talk about some accessories and any miscellaneous items that doesn't really fall into handbag and clothing category. So one of my top 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 favorite and absolute best purchases so much so that I went back and bought more is my Kelly pocket belt. So I'll show you this brown one the gold color one with palladium hardware uh, just because this is the one that I can show you with my hands. So the pocket part is this. If you just get the Kelly belt, it'll just come as is like this, which is still a great purchase, I would say. But the reason why I I just went with the pocket, because why not? It's just a little bit more and you get an extra SLG. I actually use these, which is why I, I even dress like this i'm not going anywhere but i even dress like this today and i wore it for you to show how it looks like it's such a comfortable belt it's such a good looking belt and yes i know i was resisting buying the kelly belt for the longest time because i always thought that i love my chanel belt so much why would i spend extra money on buying more belts that i don't need but eventually i saw the pocket version because they're not always available they only make it when they make it so when i saw the pocket version i was like oh let me try it because i actually do like the feature of being able to remove the basically the little card holder in front and just use it as a belt so i like the versatility and honestly <laughs> i like it both ways i like it just alone and i like it with this so this is your best or my best, my best travel companion because I've worn both of these belts in Hawaii so much, literally almost every day, um, with or without the pocket, depending on the outfit, if it looks good together, cohesive together. And even when I'm not wearing this on my waist, I, I can still use this in my handbag. It's still a real SLG. Best ever purchase, highly recommend. I'm probably gonna get more <laughs> and speaking of another accessory that um i have to shout out i probably will every year are the 
amazing, amazing, beautiful, artistic scarves that I get from Hermes. And my, my favorite and honestly the only type of scarves that I buy nowadays is the 90 centimeters square. So 90 by 90. Um, I have quite a few ones here that are that are bought just this past year at least four because I'm wearing one um, this is the robe légère version which I have three of the same colors uh, sorry different colors but same pattern and then I got this one also this is a wash scarf and I do plan on um, making a part two or updated video on um, the ways that I wear the scarf but like other different ways that I haven't shown you yet and honestly it's really up to you how you want to wear it like this way was never shown anywhere I just sort of like was trying to figure out the best way to feature this beautiful pattern um and it's it's really up to you but I will show you and I will make the video I know it, it's very time consuming but I love sharing so I will make that video just give me some time to really put it together because I do also have to try it on and talk you through the process on, of how I do it so stay tuned for that as well but yeah this is one of the ways that I wore in Hawaii and it's so comfortable so easy um, just love my scarves I, I highly recommend if you're into Hermes especially uh, but even if you're not into you, buy their scarves they are literally pieces of art even if you don't wear them you can frame them which I don't frame any of them because I wear them all <laughs> just when you think that I've totally become an Hermes girl which I have I'm not gonna lie about that I do still love my Chanel so one of my best purchases from Chanel last year is hands down this really really beautiful heart necklace I have been on the hunt for this version, this particular one, because I already have the earrings, um, the stud earrings, and I sometimes just want to be matchy-matchy. It has so many links, so it even works with guys who have bigger necks and shoulders. And so it's such a beautiful necklace. It's so pretty. It is a little bit on the pricier side, and it's not even that easy to find. It has become a rev item, so it's a classic now in um, the Chanel rotation but they they sell out all the time so yes I do have some Chanel uh, that made it into the favorites uh, best purchases and this is even though it's quite dressy and still a bit out there I guess but it's such a classic piece like pearls are always a good idea pearls will never go out of style it's just a little bit more fancy than just your typical pearl necklace. I'm not even sure how I became a rodeo person, but um, I'm not gonna compare, but obviously I, I do like them a lot because they do add to a bag. And I'm not even a charms person, but I think because these charms are so lightweight and they do add to the bag in a sense because it, it's kind of part of the heritage, the whole equestrian legacy heritage. Um, that they they make the bag even more i don't know if that makes sense but anyway like i said before i have some of the basic colors now i have the black i have the white this is cre and um i have a beautiful beautiful rose mexico which is of course my favorite color is red so this is like oh my gosh it's like it's like a it's like a red but also a pink which is so amazing i will say for these charms though um don't spend a ton of money getting them i mean if you can get them obviously because they're really hard to come by but i wouldn't spend a ton of money tr to try to get them because after a while it is kind of pointless there's only so many bags you can wear them on and are you really gonna keep rotating them i think having some of your favorite colors to dress up your bags here and there just to make them fun is actually is actually quite good i i think they do add to the bag uh not in terms of value or anything but just in the overall how it almost adds to your outfit but instead it adds to your bag this gorgeous bucket hat i got this oh i got this at the same time as the boots this bucket hat hands down my best bucket hat purchase 
to date because I do own another bucket hat from Chanel, which I love as well. That one's cute, but this one is just extra, extra special. First of all, I love that it's a lighter color and it's a neutral color because it's a gray, but it's a black too. So it goes with everything literally. And I love that this one is so easily transportable. Like it's, it flattens out. Um, put it in your luggage. I don't know how you would get it again um, because I don't know if they've made this into a rev or not, but it's absolutely one of the best, best hats I think that I've gotten and that I do get a lot of use out of, especially great for vacation. I don't talk about makeup so much because I'm not a, I like makeup as in I like the stuff that I do use because they work for me. Uh, but I'm not like a big makeup guru, of course, far from it. But I do have to shout out to, um, I mean, I, I love everything that I wear. So technically they would all make it into the best purchases list. But if I have to pinpoint like one item that I really, really did love, that I think that you guys should try it out if, if you wish, is the lip oil from Hermes. So the color doesn't matter, but this one is Amarel. My face is quite bare most of the time. And so a little bit of lip oil goes a long way, even in those instances, because it just adds that little bit of tint to your lips, but it's also super moisturizing, which I think for Hermes is quite a feat because their lipsticks, although they are great in shades, they're very drying, I find, in comparison to other lipsticks. Um, but the lip oil is excellent. So even if you're not a makeup person, even if you think that you don't need color in your lip balm or anything, uh, but it's just such a great little piece of luxury if you just want to try it out, especially if you're not a good makeup person, because I, I wouldn't consider myself to be one. So I find that even if you have a bare face, this would still work. So it's just one of those products that's, again, so versatile, um, practical. I think there's actually quite a bit of product here. I always just use one swipe for my whole lips and they're moisturizing. So it's also, you know, functional. Anyway, enough about the lip product. One other Hermes item I have to mention also is not the Apple Watch because I did buy the Apple Watch two years ago, but it's the actual strap. So I have been a fan of adding different straps just to change up the look to go with my outfit because this is pretty much the watch I wear most of the time. And I love that I added the black version, the black double tool. I think of all my watch straps, even though they're all technically my favorite, I will have to say this one is probably the coolest one that I own because it's the thicker version double tour and it just in itself from afar it just looks like a really stunning edgy bracelet and it even goes with a dressier outfit which makes no sense if you think about it but it does it just looks great together and um yeah the only caveat and con about this strap the double version they only made the sizing to fit smaller wrists uh, i wear pretty much the smallest sizing and so um that is the only con and caveat but it does work out for me so i'm glad about that so i know there was a lot in this list do look out for my worst purchases coming your way very soon as well i'm gonna be filming that right after this and uh, let me know what are some of your best purchases that you've made in 2022 and yeah let me know if any of these items you agree with me also like if they work for you as well i'm just I'm just so stoked at these things. They, they all work out so well, but of course there are some that don't work out so well, which I'm going to get into very soon. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I also do a live stream show with my friend Kat. We also have an exclusive members only live stream membership that you can subscribe to it's much more intimate content as well but otherwise have a great day happy new year i hope you had a great holiday season and i'll talk to you guys again very soon bye